What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to lower your car in Photoshop. Now, quick disclaimer, I am not Peter McKinnon. I am not some crazy Photoshop expert, all right? I'm just a car guy, just like you, that wants to see what his car would look like lowered. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, get your computer open, follow along with me, and enjoy. All right, so first things first, you gotta get the picture of the car, of course. Sorry it's a little windy out here. I didn't expect it to be this bad, but this is a really cool place to take photos, so I figured I'd do it here. So you're gonna wanna take your photo just like this. Ideally, you'd have the sun facing the car, but we're gonna make this work, and you'll be able to, you know, you'll get it. Also, another thing, this should go without saying, but it should be the direct profile view of the car, you know? It should be straight. It shouldn't be from the front or from the back. It should be straight on. All right, now we're out of the wind. Also, if you don't have the perfect picture, like how I described it, if you already have a photo that you kind of want to just do anyway, don't worry. I will show you ways to work around it. But what I just went over there is ideal. If you don't have your photo already, that's what you should go for. So now let's get into the computer. All right, so I am looking here. My camera is here, but I'm also on my computer. So. Here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna to go to open wherever you have your picture. There it is. This is the one that I just took. So you're in Photoshop and here we go. Obviously I said that um, ideally you'd like the sun to be facing the car, but this works just fine. So. Everything you're gonna need is right here. You want the, actually the quick selection tool. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is zoom in and select the car. Just the car, you know, get all the way up here. You can zoom in. And if you're on Windows, you hit Alt and you see that the little plus sign turns to a minus sign. And that's how you can trim it. And you just want to get it. See, and then that happens. You know, the quick selection tool isn't isn't perfect, but it gets it like everything that there everywhere that there is a defined line, it will select. See how this is kind of blurry between the blue and the and fades into it that it can't really pick up as well. But you go around the whole car, do this, and you select everything that is painted. You don't select the wheels. So for the wheels, we're gonna deselect that. Doesn't really matter as long as you have all of the paint. Again, we're not professionals here. We're not, you know, we're not doing anything crazy. So I will do a time lapse of me <laughs> doing this and you can do it right along with me. So there we go. The whole outline of the car, except for the wheels, you can, you can kind of picture it, you know? So everything that is selected is what would be lowered. You know, when you're lowering your car in real life, if you put coilovers on it or bags, whatever, the wheels are not getting any lower. So you just do the body. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you right click and layer via copy. You could do via cut either way. And you go to the selection and right here, you take your car and you lower it. You go, you could <laughs> slam it, it's on bags now. You could, uh, I mean, if you want, you could put it all the way up here, but you make it look how you want. And there, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty slammed. So now you hit enter. Next thing, this is why you want a uniform background. Obviously, like I said, you can do it regardless, but if you have a uniform background, it makes it just so much, so much easier. Also, first thing you wanna do, you can take your eraser tool, select a layer, obviously, and you can erase 
everything, make it a little bigger. You can erase everything that your selection tool selected too much of. Go like that. Again, it doesn't really matter too, too much. You know, this is not, we are not professionals here. <laughs> you know, we're just trying to make a cool, a cool little photo for Instagram, you know, but take some pride in your work. You know, you could go a little slower or That looks good, that looks good, oh, yeah. All right, cool. So, you're gonna select your clone stamp tool, make sure you're on the background layer, and you're gonna hit Alt, click, and now you can paint with the background. Obviously, you know, this is why having a uniform background helps a lot. So you just keep clicking and it erases the old car. So, same thing, gonna do a time lapse. That's all you gotta do. Every once in a while, See how, if I do this here, it'll go, it looks good. But if I select right here and I go over, eventually it gets back to the car. So what it's doing is it's taking this right here where you click, it's selecting that image and it's just dragging everything. So as, as you drag, it's dragging all the way to what is over here. So if I select right here, and I select it and then I drag as far, it'll go, obviously it goes to here. So just keep that in mind every, you know, from say like you do from here to here, just reselect every time. So go there, you can go up, down, everything. All right, so you guys do that while I do it too. Catch right back up. Oops. Uh, quite about that. Cheap boys for the win. Um, if that ever pops up and you can't hit the X, just hit Control Alt Delete and you can get rid of it. So don't tell anybody about that, but let's get back to work. <laughs> There is the gist of it, obviously. Here it looks a little funky, here it looks a little funky. Um, you know what, you could just, honestly, who needs that tree? She's not helping anybody. Hey, there's this. Yeah. I don't want those trees there anyway. So, there you have it. Obviously, you can do it a little slower, maybe. Um, it's a little weird. And also, you can blur. You can take the blur tool. I think it's, it's one of these. And you can blur the top. But right there, you post that on Instagram, people are going to think it's real, you know? So now the RX-7 is officially slammed. It looks awesome. And it honestly, what did that take? 10 minutes, maybe? And... It's really not that hard. If I can do it, you guys can do it. So I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you do it to your car. Even if you don't even have a cool car, just slam it, you know? It's really fun to mess around with. And you could see how this could lead to, you could do some serious editing, editing of your pictures. But 
I want to thank you guys so much for watching. A little bit different video. Please like, comment, share. Please subscribe also. It would mean the world to me. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.